unraveling, complacent, mastering its usage in English. Hello, wonderful learners. Today, we're going to dive into a word that often pops up in English conversations, writings, and even job feedback. Complacent. By the end of this video, you'll understand what it means, how to use it, and most importantly, how you can avoid being complacent about your English learning journey. The word complacent often carries a negative connotation. It describes a feeling of self-satisfaction accompanied by a lack of awareness of actual dangers or deficiencies. When someone is complacent, they're too comfortable with their achievements and don't strive to improve or move forward. Imagine you've just aced a test without much studying. If you become complacent, you might think you don't need to study at all for the next one, which could be a mistake. To help you understand how to use complacent, let's look at some examples. 1. After winning the award, the team became complacent and stopped innovating. 2. She warned her students not to become complacent after their initial success. 3. The company was complacent about cybersecurity and suffered a data breach. In these sentences, complacent shows a lack of further effort after a success or in a comfortable situation. Knowing synonyms and antonyms can help you grasp the full meaning of complacent. Synonyms include self-satisfied, smug, unconcerned, nonchalant. Antonyms provide a contrast and include ambitious, eager, enthusiastic, vigilant. Using synonyms and antonyms in your speech can make your English sound more sophisticated. As language learners, it's crucial not to become complacent. Always seek new challenges, like practicing with native speakers, learning new words daily, trying to write your own stories or dialogues in English. Remember, comfort zones are where dreams go to sleep, so keep pushing yours. I hope this video has clarified the meaning of complacent and inspired you to keep striving in your English learning. Stay curious, stay motivated, and remember, every step forward is a step toward achieving something bigger and better. Until our next lesson, keep practicing and never settle for complacency.